And I'm gonna go over my left shoulder, where's it? Bow, bow. There's my technique here. Redirect, control, counterattack, disarm. Now there's one additional element because the gun's behind me, I'm gonna look. So we're gonna do some gun. Um, I'm gonna start with some really basic striking. So it's gun from behind, touching the body. This is it, the gun's in my back. It actually doesn't matter which hand it's in, but we're gonna assume for right now it's a right-handed gunman. I'm gonna look over my left shoulder, where's it? Bow, bow. There's my technique here. Redirect, control, counterattack, disarm. Now there's one additional element because the gun's behind me, I'm gonna look. But I'm not looking to see the gun. I can't see the gun, it's in my back. All I'm doing is looking to make sure there's no other threat. I'm gonna make the exact same technique if this is the gun, his fingers, a knife, a broken bottle, a screwdriver. It's irrelevant what's in my back. I'm gonna make the same technique. I care there's no other threat. So the look is that. Not a ninja look, <laughs> nothing martial art, I just look. That's all I'm doing. That look turns into a reach, a sweep of my hand, my left hand in this case, sweeps across my body, and that causes my body to turn. Like I'm brushing dust off my pants. My arm stays close to my body, I'll explain why later. I don't, I don't sweep my arm away. Like you're brushing dust off your pants. The pinky leads the motion, and that turns your whole body. There's my redirection. As soon as I've made that, you tell me if the bad guy has any reaction at all, what's he gonna do at that point? He might shoot. By the way, if you watch uh, CCTV footage of people actually reacting, shooting's the least common thing. What's the most common thing? Pull the gun back, that's what he's gonna do. It's mine, he wants it, gimme. So I have to burst forward. And that's the burst you guys just made with the elbow. So look first, then redirect, and burst in. Notice how as I'm bursting with my feet, both feet are covering distance, and I'm reaching forward with my arm. I'm not trying to wrap the arm up yet. I will do that, of course, but I want to cover distance, so when he reacts, I've already, I'm already there. Once I've done that, look, redirect, burst in. Now, I begin to control the arm, I wrap it to my body. At the same time, boom, I counterattack. Some of you, because you're going ahead of me a little bit, you're, when you rotate, you're moving your feet right down. Well, you just made a really big motion that that guy saw. And he doesn't have to know that you're making gun defense, he just knows something happened he doesn't want. And he's either gonna pull the trigger, which is less likely, or he's gonna do what? Pull the gun away. Don't give him the chance. Be sneaky at the beginning. Be non-technical. Just look and turn, because you don't want him reacting too early. Make sense? I'm going farther than I think I need, and I'm reaching farther than I think I need, because I have no idea in real life how what? How far back he'll pull that gun, how fast he'll pull it back, whether or not his feet move or how fast. So cover more distance than you think. Now, we have the next step. I look, I redirect, I burst in. Now I control and counterattack. This hand that reached probably farther than it needed to go, it pulls back toward my body. As long as you've wrapped the wrist and that whole wrap is near your own body, I'm happy. At the same time that that left arm is finishing its wrapping movement, the right hand whoom, is giving an elbow. Face or throat, somewhere here. Now the fun stuff. Look, redirect, burst in, control and counterattack. Now, we wanna give more. We wanna give him more than just that elbow. So from here, assuming that I, that I can, I'm giving knees or groin kicks. But make sure you have this the whole time. This is tight and you're giving knees. I, at this point, I would normally show the disarm, the actual disarm. I'm not going to tonight, because A, I wanna make a point, and B, I wanna show one other technique pretty quickly. But instead of the, the final bit, which is just taking the gun away from him. By the way, disarms are important, but they should be the least important part of the technique, because you shouldn't go for them until what? Until he's, he's basically given up, right? Keep fighting him until he's no longer a threat. So the disarms have value, don't get me wrong, but they should be the least important part. If you're not sure you can make the disarm, hit him again, knee him again, elbow, bite him again, do something like that. Um, the biting part was not a joke, bite him.